Bro, you gotta start from the beginning because I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie to you. It's kind of hard to really believe anything that you say now. I take my platform very seriously, and to see you, I don't know, deliberately, intentionally, um, put you know, just put out just you know, blatant lies like that. That it's kind of I don't even know about what Tanya. Everything I said was true. The night that you got the information, right? Okay. I wasn't expecting you to go this very next day and then make the main platform about me going to jail. I was supposed to turn myself in that, that night. You know what I'm saying? Then I found out that my ex-girlfriend had put out a warrant out for me because she was saying that we violated the uh, restraining order we had placed since like a year and a half ago. So I had to go deal with that first. So my lawyer told me not to turn myself in because I needed to go deal with that first before I go deal with this other shit. Behind okay. So, so that's what made a couple of days wait, but I couldn't backtrack from it then because you done told the world. But it, I, 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 I specifically said day in day the DM, but I specifically said to you in the DM that I'm going to put this out my next show. You said no problem. Because at the time, I, I still didn't know. That's what I'm saying. You said it that night. And then I believe you said Friday. I believe it was on a Wednesday, but yeah. you said it the very next day. But then you made me believe that it. I was talking to one of your family members um, in the DM, but the entire time it was you. And I get it. And I get it. Okay. I get that. But that's the only reason I did it like that, because I didn't trust you that you was going to say, I said it. But you still kind of did say I said it, but that's it. <laughs> that was the whole point behind it. I didn't trust you. And I, and I knew you were going to say it if I said it. I told you not to or not, because you like, First hand information better than saying all oh, his people said it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So that's the only reason. What? Okay, let's Everything talk I about. Said was true though. Okay, let's Everything talk about the threesome because I've talked to Toya and Toya cleared up a lot of the stuff that you said. She did admit to dating the African guy. Um, yes, he does have a girlfriend, um, and she doesn't care about that. Because she's tired of taking care of dudes. Did she pay for your car? The Range Rover that you have? Say what? Did she pay for your Range Rover? No, she did not. So she didn't put the money down on it? The thing about it... Okay, let me explain it like this. Okay. I had my own situation going on before I met this girl. I had a car. Okay. Okay? I had a nice car. I had a Jeep, Grand Jeep um, Cherokee. This girl convinced me that, oh, we got an image to uphold, you need to get this car. Um, I was, I didn't even want the damn car. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because I was cool with what I had going on. She convinced me that I needed this car because we had an image to uphold. You gotta understand. So when she went and paid the down payment and all of that, that's something she wanted to do. I ain't asked her for that shit. I already had a car in my own situation going on. So who's paying the payment? She says that she's taking care of the payments too and she's been trying to repo the car since y'all broke up because everything is in her name. That's not true. The girl, the only, listen, this girl ain't even talked about this damn car until this information came out. This okay. girl ain't brought up this car situation until this damn shit information came out. Okay. And the thing about it was I knew she was going to do this shit about this car because she did it to the last dude. The only reason she wanted me to have this Range Rover is because the pastor, she had bought the pastor a Range Rover. She had got the Range Rover from him, traded that one in, and then got the one that I have now. Okay. Um, let's talk about the nanny situation. She says that you guys all slept with the nanny at the same time. No. <laughs> okay. On my birthday, literally on my birthday, and probably the night before my birthday. Either way, it was leading into my birthday. I, my son was in town, and me and her had got into it about something earlier that day. It was probably the game situation we had got into it about. I think it was. We had got into it about the game situation, but finding out she was fucking with the game or whatever. And I left for that day, and I was with my son. We went to my place. We were chilling all day. Then she called me, and she was like, come back. I'm sorry. But she sounded like she was drunk. You know what I'm saying? She'd been drinking, and then finding out Law was there. Law was there, and the kids wasn't even there. So I'm like, what the fuck is Lot doing there and the kids ain't there? You know what I'm saying? So she told me to come over. She was like, we eating edibles, we drinking. So I head over there. I got my son with me. Me and my son, when we walk in the house, her and Lot on the couch 
fucking and Jerome in there making him a fucking sandwich. So I had to turn back around and leave out the house, put my son in the car, walk back in the house and be like, what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? What y'all niggas doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I put my So you're saying that she was fucking in front uh, of your son? I hear you. So you're saying that she was fucking the nanny in front of your son? No, in front of Jerome. Jerome is her little gay best friend. Okay. But, but like when we walk in the house, you got to walk up some stairs to get to the living room. So when I heard the moaning and all that shit, I just got down, turned back around and put my son in the car and just told him to wait for a second. Then I went back by myself and got down and figured the shit out. Then I went back and got him, put him in the room, put him in bed. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on and how long this shit been going on. So you didn't join in because she says that you specifically joined in and you knew that you were coming. I mean, it, no, I didn't know I was coming for that, okay? Come in. I did not know I was coming for that. I was totally off the phone, off guard because we've been working with this girl for months. And I didn't know they was already doing this shit. I had no clue. Okay, what about the jewelry? She says that all the jewelry that you wear is fake, and the jewelry that she you gave her is jewelry that she bought. No. She said, I wear it fake. If yeah. Jewelry, I wear fake. The jewelry, she wears fake. We got the same jewelry. We bought it all at the same time. Okay. <laughs> that would make sense. Okay. Um. All right, what about the Jeffree Star thing? She says that you were so hard up on cash that you, you proposed to her that you would go hang out with Jeffrey and you've hung out with him no, before no, no. for she, some she money. Tried that bullshit when she said it to my cousin. No. There's no fucking truth to that bullshit. Okay. If that's the case, if I was so hard up for some money, it's the thing people don't understand. If I really wanted clout and money, I just would have got that off Jeffrey when I was with the nigga training him. I would have never been running into no broke ass Latoya. So what about the Kess situation? Now the, now the low blow is the Kess situation. Now she says she never slept with Kess. They made out. They never penetrated. Um, but for you to say that, that was kind of, I mean, that's kind of hurtful. Because I mean, at the end of the day, it is a little girl's reputation put on the line. And at the end of the day, I know what she told me. First of all, I fucked with Toya the first night we went on a date. So you can't tell me that you so pressed and so open. This is the thing. I fucked her the first night we went on a date. So you telling me you were so pressed to go on this cruise because you heard Kess was going to be there because your aunt already knew Kess. Your cousin already knew Kess. And when you heard he was going to be there, you were so pressed to go so you could be with Kess. Soon as she get on the cruise, she in front of people kissing Kess, hugging all on him. And you telling me you putting this all in the public in front of people that know your husband. People at the cruise asking you, damn, where Adam at? Why are you with Kess, right? And you telling me you ain't fucked this nigga, but you fucked me on the first night. So where did you get get it from that the little girl could have been his? Did she tell you that? So, I'm t we listen, we talking one day. And usually we just have conversation. Like, we just in a relationship. I'm in a, maybe using the bathroom, taking a shit. And she just coming there talking. And I just was looking at Aya because she was holding Aya. And I was like, damn, Aya look different from Zane and Samia. And she was like, yeah, when I got pregnant, I had to second guess myself to be like, damn, could this be Kess Baby? And I'm like, girl, if you had to second guess that, that's Kess Baby. You know what I'm saying? For her to say that kind of threw me off. Like, And I started grilling her. And when I started grilling her, she kind of backed up and was like, nah, nah, I ain't never do that with him. And I'm like, girl, but you spent the night twice in Kess' room because you said you did. So you just spent the night and ain't do nothing with the nigga. But this is the thing, I know how you move because I fucked you on the first night. Did you use protection when uh, you fucked her on the first night? No. The first night I met her, no. Wow. Wow. Ooh, y'all out here risking it all. Okay. Um, I, I ain't using that. So what I what happened with your ex-girlfriend? You want to tell me or is she going to tell me? No, I could. Huh? What happened with your ex-girlfriend? What's up with this aggravated stalking charge? <laughs> so my ex-girlfriend, me and her, was in a real toxic relationship. Um... We dated for about a year and a half. We argued all the time. I found out some, so I met her like in the fitness industry. She was probably one of the first girls that I met when I started really taking training seriously. Okay. When I met her, we just fell in love, instantly started. We was into the same shit. We worked out together. We, um, she could do the same shit I could do in the gym. So I just thought that was attractive, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I just ended up finding out she was sleeping with a lot of dudes in the gym that prior to me coming there. So I was kind of looking like a cornball 
because I'm getting with the girl that everybody already fucked. So it kind of made me feel weird. So we would argue about that shit all the time. But not only that, that she would lie to me about it. So it just made our situation toxic. I ended up finding out she was sleeping with her best friend that was a girl that we was hanging around all the time. And it was just too much. So, But at that time, we was in love. We was toxic. She was a Gemini. I was a Cancer. And we used to fight each other all the time. I never beat the girl up or nothing like that. But it was just toxic. We used to get in arguments. We used to fight. We so you never, put, you never put hands on her? I mean, as far as, like, holding her down or pushing her away, like, yeah, but not, like, punching her out her face, though. Not at all. Okay, so why would you, you know, end up getting a restraining order as well as an aggravated stalking charge? What what happened there? After the fact, when we broke up, uh, we were just going back and forth so much, trying to get back, going back and forth, back and forth. And I think one of her friends just told her, like, you know, get a restraining order so y'all could just leave each other alone. Y'all could force each other to leave each other alone. And when we went to court, I just said, fuck you, do it. Because I was ready to be done with her anyway. This was like last year, September. And um, when we did it, I ain't think twice about it. I was like, fuck it, I'm done with her, she done with me. Just put it in place so we can force each other to leave each other alone. A month later, she hit me up. She and we back fucking around with the restraint on in place. She ended up saying she pregnant, but she wasn't even pregnant. She was just lying because she knew I didn't trust her because she had did this little restraining on the shit. Um, we was fucking around in November, December, January, February. Then I cut her cold turkey off in February because I met Latoya. And I just started fucking with Latoya. That shit pissed her the fuck off. Because it's like one day we fucking around. And then the next day when I meet Latoya, I'm just not answering her phone calls. I don't care to see her, no nothing, because I'm fucking with Latoya. So that kind of pissed her off. Then she see all this shit on social media with this new girl. She thrown the fuck off. And then not only that, she feel like she made me in this fitness industry, which I can't say she did. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have got the way, like, you know, the roller coaster would have been a little bit harder for me to get my name out with the fitness because she was already kind of out and she just put me on because of our relationship that we had so for me to just jump up and leave and then get even bigger with Latoya it pissed her ass off so months went by I think she had a dude at the time or something like that and um she saw she called me I think July 5th or something because Ebony Fit Weekend they had this little fitness event weekend every every year Mm -hmm. in Atlanta and she just called me randomly, and I missed the call. So when I called her back, I was like, yo, what's up? And I'm like, damn, what the hell's going on? I ain't talked to this girl in a long time. And she was like, um, don't think you finna go out to this fitness event weekend because I know you're going to monopolize the, um, the event because everybody's going to be wanting to see you because you don't be out like that no more. You be always with Latoya, but you know everybody want to see you because you're just such a big star all of a sudden and shit. She's just being smart. So I was just like, well, you know, we got a restraint order in place. So how about you just tell me what time you ain't going to go? Because them people already asked me to go. They already asked me when I'm going to be there. So I kind of was obligated to go. So she was just like, I ain't telling you nothing. Just don't go. Or she was going to get the police involved. So I was like, fuck. All right, cool. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. AdamandEve.com. I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus, they have 24-7 customer service, so you can order at 3 a.m. if you ain't coming, if you get me, okay? And if something isn't working out, you can send it back within 90 days, no hassle. And if that's not enough, you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20% of their profits goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So go on ahead and log on to AdamandEve.com. Use the code Tasha for 50% off one item plus free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. Some exclusions apply now, but hurry up and visit adamandeve.com so they can make you come. So I'm talking to my friends like, y'all seen Ashley there yet? They was like, no, nah, I don't even think she coming. She ain't here yet. So I went. The girl wasn't there, but her best friend was there. So I'm pretty sure her best friend told her I was there. And that's the day that the girl saw 
uh, that I violated the restraining order. Same day, on the twenty third. So the 23rd why, was why on would Friday. you why would you lie and say that you was in jail for the gun incident at the twins' party versus actually being in jail for aggravated stalking? After no, you I, and the twins broke up, I had to come here. For, this is the thing. The day that I found out I was going to turn myself in for the aggravated the gun situation. That's the day my lawyer was like, yo, you got another warrant. You need to go take care of that first before you go turn yourself in. Because if you go do the time for that, then you're going to have to get out, double back, and then go serve, do time for that warrant and then take care of that too. So he was just like, go take care of the warrant first. We can get a bond on that. Then go do your time for this. You know what I'm saying? He wanted me to take care of this first. I found out the night that I was telling you what was going on. That she had put the warrant out. Okay, so what's up with this this guy Wasu? He making videos with you dropping you off at a fake jail, um, because that was DeKalb County, that wasn't Cobb County, that jail in that video. No, that was that was the city of Atlanta. Okay, I knew it was one. It was the city of Atlanta, but you in Cobb County, so I knew it wasn't Cobb County jail because yeah. I've been to Cobb County a couple times. But this is this is the thing though. So we we had already pre recorded an ass of videos. We were pre pre recorded like fifteen videos, right? Because I already knew I was gonna go to jail. I ain't even know about this ex girlfriend situation yet. I'm already talking to him like, bro, let's. Because I'm like, this is gonna be my only source of income while I'm away. Let's pre record all these videos, so I can at least just be dropping these videos. And I was trusting him to drop my videos for me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I'm gonna leave my channel with him, leave my Instagram with him, so he could drop all my shit for me. Because I'm thinking it's my best friend. I'm oh. thinking it's my nigga. So I'm like, I'm going to leave him my shit so he could do it. And he's like, yeah, bro, I got you. Woo, woo. So we pre-recording the videos for days just trying to get the content up so I can have some shit out while I'm gone. We pre-recorded the jail video. We pre-recorded all these videos or whatnot. Somehow, Latoya get in contact with this nigga. She offered him some money to goddamn flip and do what he did. And thank God he did it before... I actually turn myself in because I ain't leaving my YouTube channel and I ain't leaving my, my shit. Well, I got to tell you, Vaughn, it's, it's real messy. It's the, the, it's the white lies. I'm a little, I'm salty behind this. Um, because like, you know, when somebody tells you something, you take their word at face value, but now it's just, I don't know what to believe. I mean, Toya did admit to some of the stuff that you did say, but as far as like, you know, telling the world, that her daughter may not be Adams and shit like that. And, you know, that's kind of like him below the belt. Like, what, what, but what did she that's do to you? What did she do to you that was so bad for you to put this type of information out about her? What did she do to you? Is it because she cut you off? It ain't even about cutting me off. I cut her off. That's the thing that people don't understand. I cut her off. She ain't cut me off. Okay, so I what, left her. So what happened? What did she do? It ain't even about what happened. It's just more so like, I feeling like I done risked my whole life, my nigga. When I get out of this shit I'm in, if I, I ain't gonna be able to go get no fucking job. I'm like, I risked my whole life. And then not only that, what really pissed me off was the night that I'm, the same day that I told you the information earlier that day, um, she just randomly called me and was like, what's going on? Um, did they tell you what you got to do? And I'm like, yeah. And I let her know. She already knew the time I'm going to do, right? So she like, well, um, let me see if I can get some, uh, my African dude to send me 20000 so we can get you a better lawyer. I'm like, all right, shit, cool. She's like, just start calling around and try to find you a better lawyer. I'm like, cool. So I was spending my day, instead of, you know, doing other shit to prepare for me to leave, I'm spending my day trying to find me a better lawyer thinking this shit gonna help me. You know what I'm saying? So you you so agree find, so far you <laughs> agree to allow her to take money from another man to pay for you? No, that ain't got shit to do with me. I'm mm -hmm. just going off of what she said. Mm. I'm just going off what she said. I didn't even care at this point because I'm like, maybe this shit can help my situation so I don't have to go do all this time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get what you're trying to say, but at that point I ain't give a fuck. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, let me see if I can find something so I can better my situation. So I called around. I found a lawyer. Then I called her back and let her know what's going on. She's like, oh, well, never mind. Dude said he can't help me with that, so I, I can't do that for you. I'm like, well, bitch, why the fuck is you having me going to calling around thinking that 
this shit can help my situation. Do you understand? When a nigga going to jail and got real shit going on, this shit really affects your whole mental state. Like, don't play with me like that. And then I just felt at that point like I'm protecting her for nothing. But I, you I just don't it. give a fuck about nothing I got going on and how I feel I done risked my whole life out of this girl. But Vi, you know what you know what I'm gathering from this conversation is that you That's haven't what taken really me off. you haven't taken and then no just to disregard her just like when, when I go off about the shit because I'm pissed off at this point she's like oh well that's what you deserve I'm like what can you hear me can you hear me that's what I deserve can you hear me. I ain't even got no fucking criminal record. Vaughn, can you still hear me? I've never been in no situation like this in my life. Can you still hear me, Vaughn? Yeah. Okay. What I'm gathering here after everything that you've told me from beginning to end is that I haven't seen you take responsibility for anything. No, dang, I'm taking responsibility, Tasha K. You're taking responsibility for fucking her, and you're saying she fucked no, up your life. I understand when I was at that place. You understand the way that the twins come in. So listen, just listen to me. Okay. The way the twins come in. That situation happened. It happened exactly like that. Okay. Right? For one, I'm the, I done been shot before. Give me five so my PTSD minutes. when niggas be five on minutes. any type of aggression yes. type shit, I don't be knowing how to take it because the first thing I'm thinking is you gonna try to kill me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when I did what I did, I really felt like my life was in jeopardy. Because you got to understand, I'm hearing a nigga in the background, Adam, say, oh, we all got guns in here. And I got a nigga in front of me that I don't know oppressing me about some shit that I don't even know what he on. But I'm telling him to back up and he don't want to back up. So I understand. I probably went to the extreme, but you got to understand my mindset. Because when I didn't go to the extreme, a nigga almost killed me. Okay. So it's like, that's my mindset. When I'm sitting here, when I got shot, I'm, t- I'm telling dude, like, but chill, let's... Figure it out. Nah, niggas is out for blood. So I'm thinking this nigga on the same shit. Okay. That's just the type of time I was on. That's the type of time I've been on ever since that happened. I don't, I'd be like, don't know what a nigga on because I didn't know this dude. I ain't know he was with Adam. I did not know who this dude was. But it dawned on me in the midst of the situation. So it really made me feel like, okay, this dude gonna try to kill me. Cause I'm so hearing Adam in the background saying we all got guns. So I'm like, oh, these niggas come to kill me. And when I see him throw whatever he threw at me, I ain't know if it was a glass, I ain't know if it was a knife, I ain't know if he picked up a gun. I just know, you know, when you in a heated situation, you be thinking like, you don't know what's going on. It's just all slow motion, but it's fast motion at the same time. So when he threw it, I ain't know what was going on. I just let off the shot. Okay, so. Um, but you do realize that was something you chose to do, right? That was something. I, I understand. Okay. I ain't blaming nobody. Okay. But, but at the end of the day, it's just like, it's like Latoya knew. I ain't know the nigga was gonna be there. Okay. She knew before we walked in. I think she knew before we even got on the road to go there because the place was like right down the street from her crib. So when we going that way. She talking to her friend, whoever's there. She ain't mentioned to me not one time that that nigga was gonna be there. So when I get in there, like the twin said, I get in there and I'm looking a little standoffish. That's what they said on your on your show. I'm looking standoffish because as soon as I walk in that motherfucker, the first face I see is Adam face. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like you know what I'm saying? I'm just stunned. Cause I'm like, what the fuck is he doing here? Why are we here if he's here? Okay. Well, yeah, listen, I was, but, um, that's why I was saying that was because I'm like, am I, are we here with his friends or are we here with her friends? Because I was just kind of, I didn't know what to believe at that point. And I'm looking at her like, what's going on? And she like, oh, no, we good. They ain't going to do nothing. They ain't going to do nothing. But then it kind of dawned on me. Then I'm like, oh, so this is why she telling me to make sure I bring my gun. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You may really go in here and shoot this bitch up. I think she probably thought I'll just pull it out and scare a nigga, but that ain't where I'm from. You pull that motherfucker out, you better do something with it. So, I guess the moral to the story is, like, what did you want to get out of all of this? Hey, this the thing. I ain't trying to get nothing out of it. That's what, what do you, what y'all want me to say? Like, I'm not trying to gain no cloud off of it. I done got enough of that. Like, I'm not tripping off none of that. Like you said, when you first did your, your thing when you was telling people, 
I, Vaughn ain't trying to get nothing out of this. Like you said, I was just upset, and I felt like I'm protecting somebody that ain't willing to protect me back. That's it. Okay. Um... I mean, I, I just don't know what to, like, say or think. I mean, you explained, like, your side this morning, but, I, I mean, I'm still just trying to figure out because I've never had to go to the extent to, like, make up a story in order to prove Gosh, a point. It ain't made up. It ain't made up. That's what y'all feeling around. Nothing is made up. Okay. Ain't a lie, I told you. I just wasn't in jail when I said I was going because I was supposed to turn myself in at night. I can't even trust nobody to relay that the message to you. Anyway, I had to relay it myself, but I didn't trust that you was going to say that it didn't come from me. Which I knew you was probably going to end up saying it came from me anyway. So that's Well, why, I mean, I didn't. I, but that probably wasn't smart on my part, though. I probably should give it should just been 100. Because that's what the end result was anyway. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> okay. Okay. Um... I mean, I'll relay the message. Don't nobody, like, because I, I feel like you're feeling like, you know, I was kind of tarnishing your character. I was not trying to do that at all. Everything I told you was true. Mm, you know okay. what I'm saying? That mm. was never my angle. I wasn't trying to do that to you. Okay. And you even just said she admitted everything I said. Well, she admitted some of the things. It's like she added more context to the story, like the incident with the nanny. She said all three of y'all... Had a threesome. Nah, you got to understand, I caught them doing that. Then, in the return, she tried to, you know, get me to do threesomes and stuff with them, but it was already still like a stain on my mind. Like, is she just doing this to make me feel better? Because, you know what I'm saying, I caught her doing this? Or is she doing this just because it's just, she's something she want to do with me? And that wasn't the case. She was just doing it because I caught her doing that. Okay, so and you did, you guys didn't, you did girl, end up having... Like, I never even looked at that girl like that. The girl, I don't even think she's 21. She's probably like 19 years old. I don't even know why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was young. So you, you ended up having, you you had a threesome, but you didn't want to have a threesome, is what you're telling me. This is what I'm saying, Tasha. I'm a, I am ain't trying to seem like no lame-ass nigga. I did not want to fuck this girl, but like I said, when I caught them, Latoya flipped it like, you know... It was something she was doing for me, but it wasn't. That's something they've been doing. Okay. Okay. I ain't turning down no threesome. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the same time, it's just like, I never looked at that girl like that. I didn't want that from her. She was supposed to be the nanny. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, anything else you want to add? Nah, I'm good. Okay. Okay. But I, I, I feel your emotions, but I just wish I would have had that same love in return when you ran this Jeffree Star story. And you ain't know if that was a lie or not. Well, we always run that as allegedly. But when I'm talking directly to the source, that's a different strategy. You said allegedly, you know though. I heard the interview. Yeah, I said allegedly. Of course I said it. So... But I you mean, just I, rather it came straight from me. But I still wouldn't have wanted you to put it out there like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Well, according to Toria, you you offered to go and have sex with uh, Jeffree Star in order to pay some bills because she was struggling. I, I said, according to Toria, um, she you offered to go and rekindle things with Jeffree Star in order to help pay some. My nigga, y'all is funny as hell. Okay? I'm not. I'm just Stop telling you what she said. It. I'm just telling you what she said. Stop that. There's no rekindling. You understand what I'm saying? That is something she making up because it's just an easy attack because y'all going to believe that shit. Okay. Stop. Like, for real. It's nothing. Y'all, it's nothing. Stop. Okay. <laughs> That's just an easy attack. How she going to go from, oh, he never did this to now she's saying I did it? Come on, bro. Which one is it? Okay. I mean, at this point, I mean, you, her, that guy, Wasu, it's like, I don't know what to believe at this point. So, I mean, but it's always yeah, great to I hear it from the, easy from the they source. Don't say a nigga gay. Come on. That's what she gonna first saying. I was never doing that. Now she's saying I am because I done said some shit about her. Which one is it? Okay. I mean, I understand. I mean, both parts. So, I mean, I get it. But okay. 
But um, I'm about. You don't get it. I do get it. Good. Yeah, but I'm about to go get my son from daycare. I gotta get him at three thirty. He's around the corner, and uh, try you can call, try to call back the night before the show. But I will relay your message. What you want me to call back for? I'm just saying if you want to add anything else. No, Before really, the show I tonight. To talk to you, okay. you, you hung up in my face the other day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But I heard you best friends with Latoya now, so I ain't nothing I can say. Ain't nobody best friends. I've had one conversation with Toya, and I told her I didn't know who was lying. The same shit I told you. Okay, Tasha. I thought we was better than that, but it's all good. Well, me too, but I mean, I, I didn't lie. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, you know. You have lied on me. I ain't never lied on you, but I ain't never lied on you, okay? I have a gossip platform. I relay news that is given to me. You and Jeffree Star has a very, very long history of pursuing black men that look just like you, okay? And so when you were seen on his jet... That's something you didn't even know before you met Adam. When he came there, that's when you found that information out. No, I did not. I found that information out before then. No, I did not find that information out from Adam. Ask Chelsea. She'll tell you. Why I got to ask Chelsea? I'm talking to you. But she'll tell you, though. I don't want to ask children. I'm talking to Tasha K. Oh, okay. All right, then. Well, listen, I'm about to go get my son and um, just uh, relate. If you got anything else, just relate it to Chelsea. So, and then I'll I'll put it out. I ain't, I ain't telling y'all nothing else. Okay. <laughs>